Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to play original Xbox games if you are online already, or vice versa. If you already have a stealth server, just follow these steps and you'll be able to play original Xbox games. Now, right now, I'm going to go to an original Xbox game and it's going to crash. And I'm going to show you how to fix it, okay? I'm going to go to a splinter cell. Of course, any game will crash. You start it up, and you're like, okay, well, why isn't it working? I don't know if it's going to say that it's crashing or just not do anything. Probably not do anything. Okay. <laughs> I'm still here. All right. Now, uh, what you want to do, turn off your Xbox. I don't know if you heard that ding, but it, it made a noise. <laughs> All right. Well instead of waiting for it to shut down I'm going to unplug it <laughs> don't have to but I'm going to okay and when it's off like that now you could just leave the uh, you could just not do this and uh, just follow the steps here on after <laughs> but I wanted to show you in the video that uh, the games don't work when you're online and that's a pretty big deal because a lot of people don't know that they have a stealth server and they're like I can't play original Xbox games I was told that uh, I was able to why it doesn't work so what you gotta do is follow these steps and we'll get original Xbox games working alright so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press X because I have too many games to sort through press X <laughs> go down with the right uh, trigger to installer H I okay installer press a okay this is dash launch you can press a again or you can wait for that press a on it okay now if you come down here you can see this is here just press Y to disable that plugin Okay, go up to network and enable this, this, and this. Okay, now press right bumper, go to the hard drive, and press X. Okay, now this is where it comes uh, to waiting again. Turn off the Xbox. This time it will shut down properly and not be slow because it crashed this will actually shut down now if you have an external hard drive hooked up sometimes it takes a little bit longer to shut down I'm still waiting because <laughs> it's gotta unmount the hard drive something the Xbox one doesn't do and it makes me upset okay turn it back on wait for it to boot everything up And now with everything blocked, you shouldn't be able to sign in whatsoever. Everything everything is completely shut off, so don't worry about accidentally going online or whatever. I don't even know if you can, but just in case, you want to block all that stuff to make sh absolute sure that you're not online. Okay, now when you're back here, you can press right bumper or left bumper go to original xbox if you don't have that set up you have to set it up um maybe i'll do another tutorial on that later on but you need to set it up as a category so go to it or just press x and go to your xbox game or left or right wherever whatever you do to um whatever you do to get to your games press a on it wait for it to load up and when you notice the flicker that means the emulator is working <laughs> alright we're gonna continue from here I know you just saw me launch a uh, crash bandicoot but the game in particular won't run on my pale xbox on my pvr because the pvr is not smart enough to switch to ntsc properly 
this is a me problem, not a you problem. So to show you that I'm not lying, that original Xbox games do work, I'm going to launch a game that 100% works. <laughs> you guys won't have this issue, just play your game fine. But in a video, I'm trying to show you that it works. I'll go to a game that I know will display properly. <laughs> so you launch the game. Give it a sec. There you go. Original Xbox games now work. I couldn't get video footage because of the fact that I got a pale Xbox in America <laughs> on an NTSC TV, which does work, by the way. It's just I noticed with my old TV, it wouldn't switch over video signal properly, but my new TV does. But the reason why I was getting no signal was because the PBR isn't as smart as my television, etc., etc. But anyways, now you can play original Xbox games and you don't have to worry about it because I'm pretty sure everybody has a better TV than me nowadays. So, <laughs> we're not done. Okay. Now, if you want to... If you want to go back online because, you know, you can't go online and play original Xbox games, that would just be insane. <laughs> don't know why that's impossible to do but whatever <laughs> now to go back online either you could write down uh, before you erased all those plugins uh, what you had if you had anything or you can just do what I do and just install the stealth and that's it to go back online because I, I, I'm not worried about cheat engines and all that so my plugin there's only one plugin that I need to enable. So go to installer to get back online. Go to installer. Okay. Go to network. Disable these again. Okay. Minimize that. Plugins. Make sure it's plugin two. Do not put plugin one of of the network because I've done that and uh, locks up your Xbox. Not forever. Not permanently. Well, it's permanent as long as you never fix it but it's easy to fix you just need a clean launch ini so you go to plugin 2 all right now you go to your hard drive everybody told me to put stealth stuff on the root of my xbox so that's where my stuff is i'm going to go to infinite because that one's the best one that i've ever seen so far close out of that press right bumper go to hard drive go press x to save okay now all you need to do, turn off your Xbox. Wait for it to shut down because it takes forever. It's got to unmount the hard drive. As I've said before. Try to turn it back on, see if it does. If not, unplug it, plug it back in. If you're impatient. <laughs> doesn't hurt it I've done it multiple times launch it up hopefully it doesn't annoy me <laughs> annoy me with uh, in order to sign in you need to remember or you need to re uh, enter your password because it's done that multiple times I'm sure it's gonna do it again <laughs> but hopefully you guys um, get back online see it says Welcome, Dominator, but that ain't my Xbox Live profile. That's just Infinite's uh, login system, which is what I'm using currently because it's free. Free online. No uh, KVs needed. See, and then you go to connect to live. It's probably going to ask for a password. If it does, well, you guys are just going to have to take my word for it. Oh, there you go. I'm online. There you go. Online, I, I can get... Uh, I can get updates or deal oh well, not DLC, but I get updates from Xbox Live. I can download from the marketplace, but that's a video for another time. But anyways. I hope that helped. And that's why uh, original Xbox games don't work when you're online and how to get them working. But just remember you can't be online at the same time. So you have to do these same steps. Now if you have if you have other plugins, for example, plugin one you have uh, 
if plug in one for example you have x xbdm and for the second one you have shield or infinite or proto or you know whatever that one goes in the second and then the third one is jrpc2 that stuff will help you with the uh, cheat engines and stuff but just remember that order of uh plugins because since i don't use them i can't help you with that <laughs> The only thing I can tell you is write down what you had, put them in the same spot, or if you just want Xbox Live without cheating, like me, get rid of uh, get rid of the other plugins. Just plug in two. You can still cheat online. You just have to install it differently. It's just since they set it up through the dashboard, their cheat engines work that way, but you can still use mods online doing other things I've done it before so hope this tutorial helped you and uh, get everything sorted and I'll see you in the next video peace